Oscar Grant. Come here. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Welcome everyone to another episode of Pawpaw Speed Shop. Today we are rekindling my relationship with my first car, my 1998 GST that has been converted to all-wheel drive. We're gonna do something that I have wanted to do on this car for a very long time. In fact, this is the only portion of the car, this on, the only department I have never touched on this car, and that is suspension. When I first bought the car, it was riding on an Eibach Pro Kit. Everybody had them back in the day. They were supposed to lower the car about an inch, inch and a half, whatever. And I'm pretty sure that the shocks that are still attached to those springs are the original. They're blown KYB shocks and the car has settled significantly over the 13 years that I have owned it. There is zero suspension travel. It's really uncomfortable to ride in. It's hard to get in and out of driveways and I'm not about that helistatic life. So if you come with me over here, let's look at how badly it is settled. This is probably the worst corner of the car. I can't even get my pinky finger barely goes through the shoulder of the tire to the left rear uh, quarter panel. Um, not good. I can't even, there is no travel at all. I can pick up on it a little bit, but basically it makes this car very enjoyable among the other things that make it unenjoyable as well. And we'll get to those a little bit, but to quote my wife, the lack of suspension makes this car feel like it's the heaviest car we own when in fact it is one of the lightest. But we're gonna remedy that today on a budget with these Yanaka Motorsports coilovers. This is not the most expensive kit that you'll find on the internet. However, it did have decent reviews on DSM tuners. So I figured, what the heck, um, I'm young, I've got money to spend on other things, but I do want to kind of help this car ride a little bit better and make it more enjoyable, make it easy to get in and out of driveways. So here's one of the rear ones, I believe. Looks pretty cool. It's uh, got that zinc kind of plated uh, look to it, which I like because it won't stick out as much as like blue or red or something like that. This zinc plating honestly looks like a lot of hardware on DSM. So we are going to, with the help of Blaine whenever he gets home today, we're going to install these and take you guys on the adventure. The internet has seen this a hundred times on DSMs and tuner cars alike, but we're gonna do it to this car. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it and hopefully we'll see some significant improvements on the suspension of the mint tomato. So to get a sense of how bad the suspension is, I would take you on a drive, but that's really hard to translate through film. So you're just gonna have to take our word for it. And I think the smile on my face with having any suspension travel at all will be enough to say it was worth it. These Yanaka Motorsports coilovers are about 400, 450 bucks, which is not expensive. Um, when it comes to coilovers, but to be truthful, like I said, I'm young, I have other responsibilities, don't have a ton of money, so can't blow $1,500 on nice coilovers. Now these had decent reviews, so I'm hoping they'll be good enough, and I'm sure they will. I didn't wanna go full eBay, I just didn't sit, sit well with me at all. So we're gonna see what these do, and uh, it's a coilover conversion, so it really shouldn't be that complicated. So I'm also tired of having to do that. Boards just to get a jack underneath it. Hey, Billy. How you doing? And remember to always use chrome sockets when you're using impact, because those are impact rated. Check this out. Eibach, it's pro kit, part number 6014.002. I think the two is the rear axle. I used to know this by heart. And then that, yeah, this confirms my, my theory that these were original. Not only are these KYB, which was OE equipment for this car, they say Mitsubishi on the shock too, which totally confirms that these are original to the car. If they were replacement, they wouldn't have the manufacturer name on them. 
All right, so here's what we did. I was on the bench in there and I got a little bit worried because the body length um, of each setup is obviously a lot different. However, I mentioned those are settled and totally gacked, right? So if you look here, not only can I compress these quite a bit with just my body weight, spring included. That's with the spring on it. Spring included. If you look right here on the actual coil itself, these rust wear spots and the shiny part in the middle, I would be willing to bet that with the car sitting, each one of these coils is touching each other under the weight of the car. So that shows, I mean, what? That's probably good for two and two and a half inches, right? Yep. Up I would think it, no, so. it was sitting on the bump stops though, because I know how yes. this car rode. It Life rode route. like a bag of things. Lane's here, by the way. Yeah, hey, look, I showed up. I'm here to actually save the day. Austin was in there contemplating life, thinking that his coilers weren't going to work. I had to come in and save the day. <laughs> so, anyway, I unscrewed, <laughs> I unscrewed the body, and we've got about an inch and a half of thread in there. Which we're going to want to go I'm lower. hoping we're going to go to the extreme end and then back up. So, this will probably <clears> look <throat> really high, but we'll fix it. I if just you can even get it in without the suspension being drooped. Yeah, I just want to see... I just want to see what it looks like. Where are the nuts? That's more movement than that suspension seen in years. And it's got a motor we can pull out of it if we want it. Well, look at it. That's what it's going to look like, everybody. <laughs> I told you. What the hell? That is stupid. That's OE. That's OE height right there. I know it's not subtle. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> I told you. I think you should run it that way. You can put 18s on it like that. It's so bad. So, check this out. We're done with that. At least for right now. We're gonna let it settle. Monster driveway. truck! Yeah. Everyone, We're just gonna let him feel what it feels like to actually sure have no suspension. One, no one who's watching this video is gonna say that's good. Oh, this car is gonna leave looking worse than it did. But I don't care, because this is gonna be comfortable for yeah. me, and I'm gonna be able to get in and out of my driveway. Like we said, this thing rode like a bag of some things. So anyway, we're on to the front now. And I guess this is pretty standard. Take the fork off, disconnect the sway bar link. It's all covered in oil. On, not on that side. Mm -hmm. Got all the oil pressure, but a little bit of a leak from the oil pressure. This sweats. Oil filter housing. Yeah, I'm gonna do it in here. No flames in the ship. Keep it in the better watch that thing. This thing doesn't even have instructions. If you do instructions to install these coilovers, you do not belong working on cars. You don't belong, man. It's <laughs> <laughs> a funny looking little thing. All right, guys, we got these Yonakos. What are these called? Yonaka. Yonaka. We got the Yonakas kind of preset where we think they're going to be. They're probably too low. It means street demons of the night. Street demons of the night coilovers. We're going to throw these things in there. The sun's going down really fast right now. So we're going to toss these jokers in there. Look at that middle finger. They look really good. Not that, but they look good. All right, let's put it in there before it gets dark. All right, we got the last coilover installed. We ended up adjusting him up about three quarters of an inch just to make sure that he could get home tonight. We can adjust him later after it's settled a little bit, but it's cold as balls out here. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> Everyone always says this when they're in a southern state. They're like, you know, guys, we can't Florida, take it. <laughs> for Florida, for South Carolina, this is bad, but it is pretty cold. It's I mean, pretty cold. It's like it's gonna be about 27. It's 20. Yeah, it's 27. That's it's not anything to. God. No one on the internet is going to like this at all. I don't know. It's going like, to look like... Coil -overs, you didn't slam we didn't slam it. it. We, know, missing, we bought, we bought coilovers for the handling. You're for the, the comfort. <laughs> Who buys coilovers for comfort? <laughs> I think we're going to be sore. <laughs> I think we're going to be sore. <laughs> sore. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's let this thing down. I'm, tired. I'm hungry. It tricycled. Did it? That one came off the ground. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not... Dude! That's almost back where it was. <laughs> Is it really? 
Yes. Dang, really? Yeah. I'm glad we went up a little bit. Oh, I don't like that, dude. It is does have the no, it does have the nose down look that you wanted though. Yeah. God. I thought for sure going that three quarter up. But I mean, you have to have you have to start somewhere. It looks pretty even to me. That's still. It'll be something. That's still. Let me drive I mean, it around and see how. It yeah. Feels. I mean, like that's still. That's higher than it was. No, yeah, that's higher definitely than higher than it was. Yeah, that's higher than it was. It's cold as crap out here. It's cold. Oh, forgot about the hot dogs. <laughs> oh. No, I turned them over. Hey, can you bring me something to put them on? Oh, I'll put that on after. Oh, they're perfect. They ain't busted yet. Good morning, guys. So it got a little dark on us last night, and no, it didn't take us all afternoon to do a simple coilover swap, but we kind of lingered and did some other things throughout the day. But drove the car home last night with our current setup. Let me show you. So as you can see, it's quite a bit higher in the back. We, I think from where it was, probably an inch and three quarters to two inches higher. Um, no one's probably gonna be a fan of that, but let me tell you, that made a world of difference driving it down the road. Uh, the car feels like it has some travel in it now. It's still firm. Their coilovers is going to be firm, and no one puts coilovers on for comfort. But let me tell you, compared to what it was, this thing has Cadillac suspension on it now. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do now is raise the front up because the front ended up about where it was last night uh, before we did anything to it. And if I don't do it now, um, I'll never do it. So we're gonna put it back up in the air a little bit because again, I wanna be able to fit a jack underneath it and I wanna be able to get in and out of my driveway and the front uh, lower intercooler mount still scraped a little bit. So I wasn't super cool about that. And um, so yeah, still gotta use the ramps, gonna jack it up, maybe go three quarters of an inch higher. All right guys, uh, hour or so later and uh, still very cold on a Saturday in South Carolina, uncharacteristically cold. Anyway, so I went up three quarters of an inch up here and uh, we're gonna drop the car down and see what it looks like. Suspension travel. All right guys, here we are driving the car. Turn that down. Back on the ground, front readjusted. I mean, I can tell, I can tell the car sits higher. It's not just me knowing it sits higher, it's crazy. You, after sitting on bump stops for so long, yeah, it sits a ton higher. It's a different sensation. Definitely gonna need an alignment, but I'm not gonna worry about that with these tires because they are trashed. They hit this pothole right here. Oh. I told you guys, it's like a Cadillac Fleetwood now. Seriously though, that that's worth the money. I can only imagine what more expensive coilovers uh, feel like. And, you know, we'll see how these age over time. Um, they probably won't last forever, but they'll last for what um, kind of use I get out of the car. I don't drive this car every day for sure. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy. That's not bad at all. And the biggest thing is practicality. Being able to get this thing in and out of a of a driveway is huge for me. And I'm just so sick and tired, like I've been saying, of having to use ramps and things like that just to get a jack underneath it. It's so freaking irritating. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Paul Paul Speed Shop. Those Yonako coilovers really are awesome and we love them. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment on something dumb that we did in the episode, and we will see you guys next time. We troll the Subi up here, we got a WRX. With a CarMax sticker on it. I had a question for you guys. If you buy your car from CarMax, why do you announce it to the world? Why do you leave the license plate frame and the sticker on it and everything? I just, I don't think I'd be proud of that. I don't know. And he's got his ring.
rally armor. Mud flaps on it. Ugh. Subaru owners. When I first bought the car, it was sitting on an iBot Pro kit. I think it was supposed to lower. You know how to talk. You just get weirded out by this. You don't have to be any different. Um, 